Hey guys, it's Aaron. I want to take a look at a couple things that have been suggested a lot on our YouTube channel. We had a lot of feedback asking for this kind of thing. And this is actually going to turn into a series of videos, and that is creating an architectural model from a set of plans. So this is actually going to be a series of videos, the first of which we're going to run through right now is going to be preparing our plans to be input into SketchUp. So importing plans, scaling them, setting up multiple levels, that sort of thing. And we're going to go ahead and hop into that right now. The next couple of videos, then we'll get into things like drawing the walls, exterior, interior, doors, windows, multiple floors, maybe even roofs at the end. So hope you enjoy this, and uh, we'll hop right in right now and start setting this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is import my reference image. I am working off of an image. Uh, it is a different workflow than what I would be doing if I had, say, uh, DWG, DXF, some other CAD kind of file. Uh, with an image, I'm going to end up tracing an image as opposed to importing a CAD file, which brings line work in automatically. So with a CAD file, the process is really just taking line work and converting it into 3D SketchUp geometry, whereas pulling in an image is going to be a little more uh, drawing things. So um, we're just going to hop right into that. I'm going to come up here, go File. I'm going to say Import. And in here, I'm going to use a PDF file. Um, this is the same process that would happen for things like uh, a bitmap, JPEG, uh, PNG, any two-dimensional image file that comes in, it's going to be the same process. On Mac, I can do a direct PDF import, whereas Windows, I'll have to convert that PDF to a different graphic format in order to import it. There's no direct PDF import on Windows. Um, so I'm going to grab this first floor plan. I'm going to make sure that use as image is turned on. I do not want to import this as a match photo, nor do I want to pull this in as a texture. I want to use it as an image. And I'm going to hit import. And it's going to come in. I'm just going to click down here on the origin and drag it up uh, some amount just to get it in here. All right, so one thing that's real important, we've touched on some of this stuff before, but just to cover it again, I do want to make sure in preferences, this is under SketchUp on Mac, it's in the Windows menu on Windows. When I go to OpenGL, I want to make sure this Use Maximum Texture Size is turned on. That's going to give me the clearest, crispest lines and uh, text that I can get. So make sure that's turned on. If it's turned off, I'm going to get potentially a little bit blurry. This is actually a fairly clean uh, drawing that I'm pulling in, so I'm not too worried. But you do want to have that turned on to get the best possible image. All right. This is in here. Now you can see this is pretty basic. I have some walls, doors, windows. I have some basic dimensions. I don't know what this gray stuff's all about. Um, but, you know, that's kind of the way it is when you're working off a drawing, right? Stuff shows up and you don't really know why. That's fine, because I'm going to just pick and choose the information that I want off of this to create my SketchUp model. All right, so first thing I'm going to look at is scaling it. And we've done this before, too. I'm going to go grab a line. I'm going to draw it across the biggest dimension I can find. In this case, I have a 27-foot dimension right here. So I'm just going to click here to here. And then right now that is, let's see, what is that? Right now it's 9 foot 4. That's not going to work. I'm grab my tape measure. I'm going to hit the option key because I don't want to toggle. I don't want to create a new guideline. You see that when I have first go in there, there's a little plus underneath the icon. If I tap option or control, it's going to turn that off. And then I can just click from one line to the next. And then I will type in, that should be 27 feet and enter. Do I want to resize my model? Yes, I do. Okay, so there we go. That's now 27 feet. If I can double check by hovering over the line, 27 feet, good. Now I can actually get rid of this too. I don't, I don't actually need that line. All right, so that is one of the steps. That's the first piece I got in. That's the floor level, ground floor level. A um, couple things I might do to prep this. I may want to come up here and add some layers. So as I create, of course, I'm going to draw on layer zero, but then as items are made, I might want to throw them in. So I may have some layers. I might come in and say, first floor, exterior, walls. Likewise, I may have a first floor, interior walls. I can actually set up all the layers I want right now. This is something, this, this is kind of a personal preference thing. How many layers, how many scenes, how much information do you want to put in here? It's going to vary depending on what you're using this model for and the amount of information you want control over. In this case, if I'm doing architectural models in this way over and over and over again, what I may want to do is fill my layers out ahead of time in a blank model, go up to File, Save as Template, 
And that way, every time I open this model, I'm gonna automatically have all my layers. So if I know that I input in the same process, I always max out at three floors, um, I wanna separate interiors, exteriors, my doors and windows should be on separate layers, I can set those layers up ahead of time, save the template, and then when I come in here, I don't have to create these every time. I'm gonna end up creating most of these on the fly. I know I'm gonna do interiors and exteriors in the near future, so I'm gonna go ahead and create those. But as I create more layers, I'm just gonna add them in. But if you're doing this repetitively, it might be a good thing to set up ahead of time. All right, something else to look at here. So we scaled this. Um, I was trying to be as exact as I could with that line on 27, but it's probably not perfectly exactly perfect. That's okay. We have dimensions here. So I will actually, as we input, we'll actually be referencing these dimensions quite a bit. If you're working off a plan that has only drawing lines, no dimensions at all, you're going to need to be a little more careful. You're just going to have to be cautious about the lines you draw in. Again, we're scaling. And the other thing, this is, a, this is a big thing to think about. So if I come look at this corner, so I'm drawing a line here. This is going to be a corner of a wall. Well, where does that line go? So if I look at my lines, um, let's just draw a line right across this line. So that alone is, if you look in the lower right corner, that's almost two inches, just that, that line right there. So I'm looking at a wall that is, I'm assuming from middle to middle. So I'm looking at right here. So this is about, a, this is probably a five and a half inch wall. But you can see I have a couple inches worth of blurry black line around the outside. This is why it's nice to have these dimensions. So as I come in here to draw this line, I don't have to be real exact where exactly I click. I can just kind of come across here and know that if I put 11 foot four, that's going to get the job done. So if you don't have those dimensions, you just need to make common sense decisions as I go to draw this. Do I want this to be 11 foot four versus 11 foot three and 15 sixteenths? Um, you're just going to have to be a little more uh, in control of what you draw there. If you don't have those dimensions. All right. So at that point, I have this all set up and ready for my exterior walls, which I'll be putting in in the next video. So hopefully you like this, hopefully you like where we're going. Uh, hopefully you'll click on the next video when it shows up too. If you like this idea, like where we're going, let us know. Give us a comment down below, maybe like or subscribe. If there's some other workflow that you think we should really show, let us know about that too. We love making videos, but I like it a lot more when we get to hear what you wanna see. Thank you.